वेलकम टू मैथ्स मैथी हेलो फ्रेंड्स एज देर इज ऑलवेज अ नीड ऑफ हेल्प इन कैलकुलेटिंग और सॉल्विंग मैथमेटिक्स क्वेश्चंस ऑन डिफरेंट लेवल्स आई एम हियर फॉर द सेम टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व चैप्टर लाइंस एंड एंगल्स एज द सल्यूशंस ऑफ दिस चैप्टर are being asked continuously so i have decided to solve exercise 9.1 moreover i have solved many chapters of class 7 earlier chapters named integers fractions decimals rational numbers and uh, triangle and its properties moreover i have solved many chapters of class 8 publication of goel brothers the chapters name are rational numbers square and square roots cube and cube roots playing with numbers algebraic expressions factorization of algebraic expressions quadrilaterals surface area and volume and so on so let's check it out how to solve chapter lines and angles of class 7 exercise 9.1 so in here in first question we have been asked what we have been asked for it uh, is it possible that two angles complementary to each other are both acute both obtuse both right angles and one acute and one obtuse so here we have been given some sub parts of the question so first sub part says is there any chance is it possible that two angles complementary to each other Comp complementary means both uh, sum of both the angles would be what 90 degree complementary means the sum of both the angles would be 90 degree sum of both the angles would be how much 90 degree so here we have been given some conditions the first condition say if two angles are complementary to each other then can both the angles be acute so our answer would be yes both the angles can be acute why because if we take let's suppose if we take 45 degree Plus forty five degree, which would be equal to ninety. So here both the angles are acute. If we take thirty degree plus sixty degree, here also the sum is ninety degree. So here also both the angles are acute. So we can say that if two angles are complementary to each other, both the angles can be acute. Now second part is given as both obtuse. Is it possible? that if two angles are making complementary to each other both the angles would be obtuse answer would be absolutely no not possible why because the sum would become the sum would become greater than 90 degree the sum would become greater than 90 degree so it would not remain complementary to each other now third part so third part is given as what third part is given as both right angles is it possible if two angles are complementary to each other both the angles would be right angles so we would write not possible again why if both the angles would be right if both the angles would be right angles if both the angles would be right angles
if both the angles would be right angles it would conclude in it would conclude in what 180 degree which is supplementary not complementary so i hope the question is clear now come to the fourth part can both if uh, both the angles are complementary to each other so is it possible that one acute and one obtuse is there any pot possibility to have one angle as acute angle and one angle as obtuse angle so we would write not possible again so here the first question sub parts all the four parts if any type of doubt is there feel free to ask your doubts by commenting it in the comment box let's come to the question number 2 so question number 2 says without using protector or compass can you draw the supplementary angle of a given angle explain so the answer would be yes it can be it can be drawn how how suppose we have been given an angle suppose this is angle p this is angle q and this is angle, this is r angle pqr and we have to make its what supplementary angle of a given angle let's take this angle as suppose 60 degree so for making it supplementary angle for making the supplementary angle of 60 degree we just write the draw the straight line of, out of it so what angle would be the supplementary of 60 degree 120 120 angle 120 would be the supplementary of 60 degree so we would write it can be done using a scale we just need to extend any one of the two rays of the given angle of the given angle and we will get a adjacent angle of the given angle which will be supplementary to given angle i hope this much is clear so you can write this as your explanation and uh, i have already explained how can it be possible let's move to the third question so third question would be are the following angles adjacent give reason so we have to make make the angles first
first diagram is given as somewhat like this. This is our angle one and this is our angle two. Second figure, this is our first figure. Now, let's make the second figure. Second figure is somewhat like this. So this is A and this is B. This is our second figure. Third figure is somewhat like this. This is our third figure. Fourth figure is straight line. And yes. A, this is L, this is Q, and last figure, this is our fourth figure, and this is our last figure. This is P, this is Q. So in here, all the five given diagrams. So the question is, are the following angles adjacent angles? Whatever the angles given here in first figure angle one and two and second angle A and B in third angle X and Y in fourth angle K and L and in fifth angle Q and P. So are they adjacent angles? Give reasons. So for first of all, just understand what are the criteria for the angles to be adjacent. So we would write criteria yeah, criteria for the angles to be adjacent. The first criteria would be what? A common vertex. Second criteria would be a common arm. Third criteria would be other arms. are on the opposite sides of the common arm. So, in following cases, so in following cases, For, for first figure, 
angle 1 and angle 2 are not adjacent for the second case for the second case angle a and angle b are not adjacent as well because they don't have in the second case they don't have what common vertex third case angle and x and y are not adjacent are not adjacent fourth case angle k and angle l are adjacent why because they fulfill all the criteria what criteria they have a common vertex they have a common arm or the uh, other arms are on the opposite side of the common arm so in fourth so in fourth part all the criteria is fulfilled so angle k and angle l are adjacent and in last case angle q and angle p are also adjacent angle q and angle p are are, are also adjacent so this was all about today's class in my next video i will be solving next question of exercise 9.1 so keep watching the channel so if you guys like my videos or if it is somewhere helpful to you subscribe to my channel hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible thank you so much